we're here in Bartle uh, today to learn about John Sparks, a filmmaker, and we're going to meet Eileen, uh, who will tell us more. Could you tell me where you were born in the village and when? Yes, Lucy, I was born on the 20th of May, 1954, um, and it was just over the road at number four station road. Oh, that's so nice. And my name is on the wall under the baptism roll and I was christened here in September on my brother's birthday. That's really nice. Could you tell me why the village is so important to you? It's the history of my dad's family. Um, my dad was one of the Parsons family and there were a lot of them. And my dad and my auntie and my uncle all worked on the Somerset and Dorset Railway. And that was very, very popular around here at those times. That's really nice. Now, you said your family lived in the village. Could you tell me what they did here? Yes, well, I was born here and only stayed until I was a toddler. And because my dad was on the Somerset and Dorset Railway, we were very lucky to be offered an old railway cottage, which is what you always wanted. But that, that was at Coaxley near Wells. So we went there when I was about five. Oh, that's so nice. And my parents also did fostering of babies, short-term fostering, and they actually had over 50 babies in total. Oh, my gosh. But they didn't all come at the same time. It was just one at a time. And that was how I grew up, and I always thought that babies came when the adoption officer brought them here. <laughs> so I've got a question about your grandparents now. Where did they live and what did they do? Well, when they were a bit younger and bringing up their big family of five girls and three boys, one of the boys was my father, Fred. Um, their names were Wilfred and Elsie Parsons and they lived in Catcut Road and that was where they brought up all their children. And at that time, Nanny was really busy with the children and my granddad worked on the peat. And then when they got older, Nanny was still looking after the children and granddad joined the dad's army. And he, he loved doing that. That's really interesting. And later on, um, when they passed away, um, they're actually buried here in the churchyard of Bertle Church. Oh, that's really nice that you have family connected to the village too. Mm. Thank you. We are at the now decommissioned Yold Bertle Inn, which was, to my knowledge, erected in 1911, as mentioned by John Sparks in his book, E.I. Bertle. Uh, my granddad was the original manager of the pub. Uh, in 2012, the pub was closed down due to lack of customers. Uh, it had been successfully run for the past six to seven decades. Uh, my granddad, Chris Dyson, had devoted a huge portion of his life to this pub. One of my fondest memories from my granddad was probably after the pub had officially shut down, uh, but he was still living in it at the time. We used to pop over and he used to cook some of the, some of the most remembered meals I can, you know, I can remember to this day. And his fond obsession with ghost hunting because he always believed that there was something lurking about in the pub. Local people came together to play silly games such as pram races, boat races and egg races. There's no film at the egg races, so we filmed our own. Get set. Monster. <laughs> <laughs> 